Students, in the last lecture, we studied about the types of stresses generated. One type of stress is shear stress. Now, when the shear stress is applied on the body, there are some other effects on the body. This lecture will describe the nature of complementary stress that is developed when we have the parallel forces, or you can say shear forces. So when whenever we talk about shear stress, we always consider that there is a force that is acting tangentially to the surface. So if I talk about the surface, that means if this is the bar, so that surface is this one. It is tangentially acting on this surface. So that means if this is the force P and this is the area A, then tau will be tau will be shear stress. That will be P by A. So I think this should be very clear that what area should we consider. So now let's start with the complementary shear stress. That means when we have an element A, B, C, D. A, B, C, D is an element. Now, what is an element means? Suppose I am having a body which is under different type of loading. All the forces, external forces are there. There are shear forces. All the forces acting. So, any small element, any small part that we consider inside that body we call it as element so let a b c d is a small any element inside a body that is acted by a shear stress or shear force on the area ad and bc so you can see that tau is acting on these areas so that means the tendency of this is to rotate the element. So it is clear from the figure that the shear stress acting on the element will tend to rotate the block in the clockwise direction. So as there is no other force acting on the element, static equilibrium of the element can only be attained if another counterclockwise counterclockwise couple is applied. And it should be of the same magnitude. So that means if this is, if in this direction force is there, obviously to make maintain the equilibrium, there must be some forces that will give and couple opposite to that direction. So now let's assume that on AD plane, the area of AD is Y into 1. So 1 means thickness is 1 unit. Similarly, area of face BC is Y into 1. So force on AD is tau times area that is Y into 1. Force on the phase CB is tau times y into 1. So, movement about point A, if we consider the movement about point A, that is equal to the, so what is the definition of movement? Force into distance. So, force into distance about A. Now, this is the point a. So one force is acting in this direction that is F AD. So F AD into force into distance, perpendicular distance that is 0. So plus F CB into distance is X, perpendicular distance. 
so it comes out to be tau y x so now we consider that we have another movement about a this is clockwise movement so there must be an anti clockwise movement m a dash i can say counter clockwise so that should be equal to clockwise movement so that the equilibrium can be maintained so that means so this counter clockwise is due to tau dash and tau dash so this is equal to again if we do in a similar way so if i consider a as the reference point so due to tau dash one force is f ab distance is 0 plus f cd into distance is y times so this comes out to be f c d is equal to tau dash into area was area of c d was x into 1 that is the area and distance is y so this comes out to be tau dash x y so now m a dash is equal to m a hence sigma into y into x should be equal to tau dash x into y so that gives me that tau should be always equal to tau dash so that means if we are having this force so to maintain the equilibrium there is always a counter forces developed in that on that element